In this tutorial, we will show you the different ways to define users' needs in standalone systems in PVSYST. Isolated systems are defined by their daily needs. You can define a daily consumption profile by completing the different categories in this table. You must define the number of devices by category as well as unit power. Then the daily operating time. Repeat this for all your electrical devices. You can view the daily and monthly consumption of your system. The next step is to define the hourly distribution of each device's consumption. To do this, Click on the Hourly Distribution tab. Each segment represents 30 minutes of consumption. Left-clicking adds one or more 30-minute slots. Right-clicking deletes one or more 30-minute slots. Once the distribution profiles have been completed, you can view the global consumption profile with this graph. Return to the first tab to check if no error message appears. You can also choose monthly, seasonal, or yearly consumption profiles. You must define your consumption profiles according to the seasons or the months of the year if you do not select yearly. The definition of your daily profile is complete. To continue the simulation, click OK. You can also define the user needs using monthly values. You have the choice between different types of load profiles. We will choose the profile Monthly Values. Several units are possible depending on your input data. Fill in the values for each month. The graph allows you to view the load profile. Another way is to import a CSV file containing the user needs. If you already have some CSV files saved, you can load them with the Browse button. PVSYST also has several templates you can use for your system. Click on Reload Templates to load them and choose one. You can rescale the load profile to a different yearly consumption. To validate the import of the CSV file, click on OK. Now you may use the CSV as your requirements benchmark. We also propose several models of daily consumption. Please choose the one model that best suits your needs. Now you can use the model file as your requirements benchmark.